Arab Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. More information keeps coming out of Israel and also out of Israel's neighbors. We are monitoring both news sites as well just to get an idea of what's going on. And one of the latest updates that we've had at 6.38 p.m. was from Al Akbar, the English publication online, their online publication and their side of this story here. Now, they do agree that it was Hezbollah that attacked a military convoy, a military convoy that took out one vehicle, and <clears throat> as well uh, in the incursion that has ensued after that between Israel and uh, Hezbollah in the north, there has also been two Israeli soldiers killed in the fighting, as well as one, uh, one United Nations peacekeeper. This has been confirmed deaths thus far. Uh, according to the al Akbar uh, news agency, they speak about uh, that uh, at 11.25 a.m. this morning, the uh, Quanitra Martyrs of Islamic Resistance, which is Hezbollah, targeted an Israeli military convoy on the Sheba farms uh, composed of several vehicles, which was transporting several uh, Israeli soldiers and officers. Of course, they call them Zionists. Uh, Hezbollah said in a statement broadcast on the group's Al Manar television channel. Al Manar said that the nine Israeli vehicles were targeted in the attack. Israeli media confirmed that two soldiers had been killed. That is so. There were conflicting reports on whether an Israeli soldier was abducted during the attack. Al Akbar English could not independently confirm the information at this time. Uh, the Sheba Farms area is a mountainous, narrow silver of land which is in the uh, water resources of measuring 25 square kilometers. Uh, it has been, uh, or they say, it's been occupied by Israel since 1967, Middle East War, although Lebanon has never ceased to call for the uh, restitution of the Sheba farms. An Israeli security source, meanwhile, said their vehicles came under very heavy fire at, at close range. Israeli medics uh, confirmed that seven Israeli soldiers were wounded, but said none of the injuries were life-threatening. He said it was not clear whether the vehicles had been hit by an anti-tank missile, a rocket, or a mortar. According to Israeli sources, it was an anti-tank missile that hit the vehicle. And of course, there's been clashes that have continued on from both sides since then, all afternoon. And I can only imagine what Israel is going to do in retaliation of a heavier strike uh, in Lebanon this evening as the sun has f fell. We will try to keep you up to date as more breaking news comes out about this. We are monitoring every source we possibly can in the region in order to keep uh, this information up to date for you. I'm Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live. Good evening.